Okay, I'm chucked up here in the lathe. Um, all I'm going to do here now is face it off. Uh, the old power hacksaw does a pretty good job of cutting it off there. It's not too, not too bad. It may not be 100% dead square, but it's, yeah, she's pretty close for an old machine. Uh, I've got a bit of emery, emery paper there, a bit of wet and dry, it's going to clean the outside up because it's pretty, yeah, pretty close fit as it is. So I'll put a centre yeah, centre drill in there and I'll shift it out and hold it in the centre. If I've got to take a little bit off in it, off, off the outside, I'll, yeah, I'll hold it with the live centre and I don't believe I've got to take much off at all, if anything. that carriage Far off from old lady, but old town actually just that. Definitely fits. I think it's got a little bit of paint on that shaft still. I might take it out of the wire wheel and um, the grinder and wire, hit a bit of wire wheel, and that'll be the outside diameter will be perfect then. Definitely a cheating little episode that bit. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Well, I didn't expect that. I took it over the wire wheel and knocked all the uh, crap off the outside and when I stick it in the die holder it's a perfect fit um, as in I'm going to put the uh, floating and uh, the tape of the sits in the the uh, tail stock and it's, um, it's actually causing a suction so definitely a, definitely a nice fit so there's no need to touch the, the outside of the, the piece of shaft um, just got to concentrate on doing the uh, in, the, the, the out well I have to 
I'll touch the outside, I'll put a taper on it to get rid of some of the bulk. Um, it's only a matter of putting the, the internal hole in it. It's, yeah, drill it, tap it for a couple of set screws, and uh, this one will be done. It's, I didn't expect that to fit like that, I really didn't. That was a big surprise. Unreal. Sometimes you can have a win. I went through all my drill bits. Uh, I bought a set of uh, second hand drills, um, Imperial drills, and 1564s is 234 thou, which is the same as this tap. Um, I just hope it doesn't drill oversized by much which it probably will um, I'll just see how it goes Turn that automatic feed off because it's annoying me I've got the fellows here at the moment putting up my new workshop. And man oh man, I can't wait till that's finished. If there's a little burr on that, there may be a little burr where the uh, engraving is on the um, on the tap. I might just quickly run it over a stone and see how that goes. Okay, I've got a little problem. I've stuck a, uh, a six millimeter drill. Um, and it's still a little tight, so when I bought a Dremel, a Dremel, I got this little, well, I suppose, a little tub of polishing paste compound stuff. So I'm just putting a bit on the end of a. I've turned the drill piece around in the drill, in the chuck, in the tailstock, and I'm just putting a little bit in there. I'm going to try and polish it out a little bit, see if that makes any difference. It may do, it may not, it might be just all crap, you know, I don't know. It might be just a complete failure. Look, we'll have a go. Found a little bit of pressure sideways on the um, Chuck and the tail stop. Hope to try and get it to um, polish out a bit. Probably completely wrong way of doing things, but you make do with what you got. What's going to happen? Well, bugger me, it worked. <laughs> yep, look at that.
bit of wild ingenuity and it all seems to pay it off you little beauty excellent okay I can uh, now I can go on to putting a little chamfer on this now uh, just to make it look a bit prettier and um, part it off I need beer on geez I'm happy that worked right now yeah, I've started cutting the tape here I've just set it to 25 degrees which uh, should work out okay Set up my parting tool. Okay, a little bit of trouble setting up the uh, parting tool. Um, this layer's got a fair bit of slop and play in it. Um, yeah, it's hard to get it set up where it's where it's happy. So, uh, yeah, gotta hope for the best. in some YouTube channels quite a lot people don't really show their mistakes um, I'm going to because I made a good one that's the one I just made um, yeah fits beautifully just have to put the set screws in see it there it's on the square but Got a bit carried away cutting the angle on it, and um, <laughs> sits down in there too deep. 
so definitely screwed that one up. So I didn't go overboard with that one, did I? A little bit shy on that one. <laughs> that one fits a lot better. So I don't mind admitting my mistakes. I do make them. Everyone makes them. It's just a part of it. Um, this hole is still a little bit, no, it's not too bad now, but yeah, it's got a little tight. It's alright. So all I've got to do now is um, drill it and put some set screws in there. And then I want to be finished for that side, for that size uh, tap. So, yeah, that's where I'm up to. Bloody mistakes. Um, just going to show you the way I set this out. Um, I found the centre just by using the uh, centre finder. Um, I worked out roughly how far in I wanted the grub screw to sit, the set screw to sit. Um, and then just eyeballed it over from the back line here center line I bought it over and put a mark there and that's how I, I just thought I'd show you the way I set it out there that was all simple easy way to do it there we have it just drilled the hole straight through um, just went one side straight through um, it actually turned out pretty good so it's a matter of um, deburr the hole a little bit chamfer on it Beautiful. Okay, I'll tap it in there, I'll tap a thread in there and Sorry about my hand being in the way. Right here, here we have the finished product to date. Uh, we've all seen that before. Um, die holder, floating die holder. Um, just give you a bit of a run down anyway. This is what it is. Um, that'll take the inch and a half dies, put the collar in there, and take the inch dies. Get rid of all that. And if you drop that in there, like so, that's as far as it goes in. It's as far as it goes in, do these grub screws up, which they do have a register to sit in. You can see it there. There's three that side, one that side. Um, that's just the way it worked out because um, I used the three grub screws to hold the uh, larger dies in. 
Um, I've only got the whole little ones in, it's just the uh, single one that goes right through uh, into the um, uh, come out of there, into the smaller die. Um, just grab one more grub screw. Which I must have dropped somewhere. Um, drop everything yeah so we can use um, all my taps that have this size shank which is quite a few when you go through the whole kit yeah so that'll drop into there unscrew that one a bit it'll drop into there it's a nice firm fit and um, then we can use that to um, do an internal thread. Um, and when you wanted to use a smaller die, uh, smaller taps, you just put. I just made up another one which got a holds a smaller die, a uh, smaller taps. Now they're held in, like I said before, earlier on. Um, I think I said it's just a grub screw. Two opposing grub screws onto the square of the the uh, tap, so it shouldn't spin. Um, I don't know how to handle do a much bigger. But as soon as you go to the bigger shank, the lot bigger tap too. Might be all right to do the first two or three turns and then pull it out. Um, yeah, I just got to see how it handles these. And I've got the taps I've got to the smaller shank. I'm not real keen on um, doing them on the lathe just in case. It might just even shear them clean off. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to see how these two sizes go for a while. And if they're successful, I might go the smaller one. I may go the larger one. I don't know. Okay. So that's a pretty universal tool now. Um, I'm really happy with it the way it's turned out. Um, it caused me a few headaches to start with. Um, there was my mistake I, I made. And just to top all that off, broken tap inside that one. Um, <laughs> this wasn't my day, was it? But anyway, we overcome the problem. Uh, it didn't take long, and why I missed a couple of steps in the show. But I was, yeah, it sort of it annoyed me a bit when that tap broke because there was no no rhyme, no reason why it did break. Obviously there was, but I, I can't I can't pick up why how come it did break. I obviously stuffed up somewhere. Um, they are king chrome tap and dies, so I think they must they might have a good bit of quality around them, but beaches it snapped easy. Um, so it was a quick trip down the shop and yeah, bought a set of Bordeaux ones. So hopefully they were they were and they tapped quite easy, they tapped real nice. So overall I'm really happy. Um, very universal tool now. Um, yeah, and easy to make. Dead easy to make. Anyone can do it. So, um, looks like that bit's ending up in the bin. That bit's definitely going in the bin. So, very happy. Thank you everyone for traveling along if you've lasted this long. Um, all my subscribers, I'm shocked that there's, yeah, shocked that I've got over 50 subs already. That's blown, blown me away. Um, and any, all the comments and the comments I've been reading, that's just, yeah, icing on the cake. Love it. So thank you again, everyone. It, it really means a lot that um, people are interested in what I get up to here and which isn't much, um, 
basically just bugger eyes and ran. So thanks again guys. I'll see you on the next little project.